So I've got uh, a vector problem here. Um, it's quite a common problem, or a variation of a common problem. Although in this case we're, we're not given um, any acceleration, we don't have to account for any acceleration, which is a little bit odd, and then in a future video I might uh, work on a, a, another problem that uh, does involve acceleration, uh, if for nothing else, uh, for the sake of uh, revision. Um, but um, yeah, so I mean, to invoke a cliche, this is a very textbook problem. And uh, we're told that at noon a ferry F is 400 meters due north of an observation point O moving with constant velocity. So this is our, our velocity vector, 7i plus 7j meters per second. And we're told that there's a speedboat S 500 meters due east of our observation point O moving with constant velocity. And I'll just highlight that in red. This is our velocity vector. And of course meters per second. Now. For part A, um, they asked uh, us to write down the position vectors f and s at time t seconds after noon, which is a little bit arbitrary, or, or at least uh, a bit vague, just t seconds, um, but that's okay. Um, and so the first thing you could do, uh, it's not always necessary, but uh, you can just sketch, just make a, little, a very quick sketch. Right? We've got, so you can just highlight this as, I don't know, 0.0. It's not entirely accurate here, but um, uh, just for the sake of some form of visualization. And we know that this is 400 meters due north, well we can just write 400j. And up here somewhere, we don't know the position obviously, uh, we've got our ferry f, right, uh, and uh, moving at this velocity. And likewise we can, uh, again we don't know the position here really, um, just 500 meters due east uh, um, is the, is, is the speedboat uh, relative to the, the observation point, so we can just write 500i to note that as s, and so we have some sense of sort of what's going on here, and um, and of course s is moving with a constant velocity, um, and so I mean we could even draw uh, the velocity vectors, if we, if we wanted, you could sketch them if that helps, I don't know. You could so write, draw, you know, 7i, well that's 7, 7j, so 7, it's going to look something like that, right, and again, likewise, we've got a velocity vector here for s, which you can mark in red, well, it's negative 3i, whoops, so i just write it this way, i just write 3, and um, it's 15j. And so it would be something like this, 15 j. Right, so um, for part A, and we'll return to this kind of a very rough visualization in a moment, but for part A, they want us to write down the position vectors of f and s at t seconds after nu. Uh, so the easiest way to do that is just to, to look at f and s separately. Uh, and so we can write here for f, how I like to think about it at least and um, for this we just need to we, well t seconds noon we need to find the position vector well that the key the key piece of information here is to write down the position vector so we want to write and find for r uh, and we, this formula is commonly known of course r equals r sub o plus v times t it's a, a play on a kinematics equation uh, and so we need to solve for r but, and we don't have any value for t, mind you. It's at time t seconds. So what we can do is just plug in our values. Um, it's our, our initial position, our initial, uh, uh, you could think of that, uh, r sub o is our initial position. Uh, it's 400 meters due north for f. So we can just write 400, and it's due north, so we can just write 400j. And then we sub in our value for v, which is our velocity, 7i plus 7j. And, we're, uh, and that's going to be uh, multiplied by t. And so we can then just use a distributive property here and multiply our velocity by t. And, and so what we end up with is 400j plus 7ti plus 7tj. And now we can just uh, rewrite this whole thing here uh, in terms of its components, just separate the components. We've got 7ti, so let's just write 7ti plus 400j, so 400 
plus 7t. Let me just pull the, the j out of the brackets. And that is our, um, that is our position vector for f um, at t seconds. So it's, it's quite simple. Uh, so we're just going to do the, set, the exact same thing for, for s. Uh, and so we know that r equals r sub o plus v times t. And we're solving for r, our position vector. Uh, and, um, and we know our initial position in this case is 500i for the speedboat s. So we can just write 500i and uh, plus v our velocity well it's negative 3i plus 15j so we write negative 3i plus 15j and that's going to be multiplied by t and again we're just going to use a distributive property here and we'll end up with 500i plus minus 3ti plus 15tj and we can just rewrite this as we did before um, and so we can just write, let's say, um, uh, yeah, 500, put that in parentheses, 500, oops, sorry, it's negative, minus 3, 500 minus 3, t, i, plus 15, t, j. And that is our, is our position vector for s at t seconds. So that's quite simple. Now, the, the main part of this video really, um, sort of orbits around uh, part B. Uh, this is um, what I want to think about a little bit more. Um, uh, these are always, these are, this is quite common in fact, you know, to find a point of collision. They ask us to show that F and S will collide, so we have to show it will collide and find the position vector of this point of collision. Well, um, there are a couple ways to visualize what's happening here. I mean, again, this is a really rough sketch, but you know, we've got the velocity vector here. You can kind of think of you know, F, our, our, our ferry is, I don't know, kind of going somewhere like this in some direction, like this, and uh, and S is kind of, you know, moving up, something like this. And basically, we want to find this point right here, where they collide, where they intersect. Um, and so to do that, and this is just really rough, I'm just, just a, a kind of, a, yeah, just a rough sketch, but... Um, in any case, uh, so we need to find that point of collision, and to do that, um, there, there are two different ways, two different methods that I know of at least. Um, I prefer one over the other. One method is to say, okay, well, we've got this um, this vector, I don't know, uh, uh, fs, right, like this, uh, it's the vector fs, and what you would do is you would um, solve this simultaneously by subtracting uh, uh, we'll just say x sub s from x or uh, from x sub f, and you could find your value of t, and then you would be able to write your position vector, the point of collision. Um, I don't really. I mean, it, it's was fine. Uh, I prefer to do it another way. I prefer to just equate the two. And so let's just say, let's just call this x sub f. And let's just call this x sub s. Now to equate the two, we're going to say that x sub f equals x sub s, right? They collide. We need to find their point of collision, so I'm going to set the two equal to each other. And now we can just expand on that logic. And um, and therefore, so what is x sub f? Well, it's 7ti. 7ti plus 400 uh, 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 plus 7ti j. That's being set to equal to x sub s, which is 500 minus 3t i plus 15tj and now really the next thing to do would be just to, to sort of break this down into uh, uh, into its components um, and uh, uh, so I could write um, say um, i oh actually I'll just write i components here just to make it really explicit i components i components so What's our i component for x sub f? Well, it's 7ti. So let's just write that 7ti on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, what's our i components? Well, it's 500. And actually, we don't even need to write i here. 
I'm solving for t, like we can just take that, right? It's just 7t, that's our i component, right? 7ti equal to 500, well, our i component for x sub s is 500 minus 3, 500 minus 3t. And uh, uh, now, well, the reason I like this method, I prefer it, is just because it, uh, we just solve it, uh, we just find our answer by using some algebra, and, and I tend to resort as a default to algebra, to algebraic solution. Uh, so we're just going to uh, add 3 to both sides, it gives us 10t, and that equals 500, uh, and so therefore we, what we end up with uh, is just that t equals 50. So that's our time at the point of collision. Now, uh, which is really important here. Uh, now, to ensure that this is the correct value of t, let's solve for our j components. So let's just write j components components. You can write like j comp, sub comp or something, whatever you want to denote that as, but I just, I'll just make it explicit j components. So what's our j components for x sub f? It's 400 plus 70. 400 plus 70. That's of course being set equal to the j components for x sub s, which is 15t. Right, and so let's just subtract 70 from both sides. We get 8t, and that's going to be equal to 400. And then when we divide 8 across uh, on both sides, we get t equals 50. So that's our, that's in, in, indeed correct. We've just shown that um, the f and s will collide, and they're going to collide. t equals 50. Uh, and so uh, and uh, find the position vector of the point of collision. Well, to write the position vector, all we really need to do here is, uh, is uh, we can write, um, for example, that um, f and s will collide will collide and we're just going to substitute this value for t into um, oops sorry, what I want. Uh, substitute this value of t into one of these into either x sub f or x sub s it doesn't matter I'll just substitute it into x sub f so we've got 7t i well that's going to be 7 times 50 i plus 400 plus well, 70, so just 7 times 50 uh, j. And what's that equal? Uh, well, 7 times 50, uh, 7 times 50 is that 0, 35, 350. I should have done that much quicker. 350. I was a bit tired today, so this is 750, that's 350. Uh, and uh, 350 uh, plus 400 is 750. So what we end up with here is 750i plus, uh, or 350i plus 750j. That is our position, uh, our position vector at the point of collision. Uh, and uh, and uh, we, we are done for this. We've um, um, given everything that they've asked us for. Um, in terms of the other uh, method or approach uh, at this point, um, I'll save that for. I'll just uh, uh, do a short um, uh, a short video to immediately follow this one, just to cover that in a few minutes, uh, and, uh, and and then to just think more in the, about the comparison of the two different methods. But the final answer, anyway, the position vector here is uh, we've shown that s f and s will collide. The position vector is three fifty i. Plus uh, 750J.